What's up guys, it's Shirley, and in this video, I create a design in memory of Dylan Reader. Let's get into it. What's up guys, again, it's your girl Shirley, and welcome to another episode of the Design Blog. On this series, I create designs that are inspired by different people, places, things, or anything that I think is interesting. So make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss any designs. Also, if you wanna give me any kind of suggestions, make sure to comment down below because I might just create your design next. This design for Dylan was actually from a suggestion in the comments of my last video, so I really appreciate any comments, ideas, or suggestions. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so I wanna talk a little bit about what inspired this design. I decided to use a real photograph of a skateboard and create it into a silhouette. From what I could tell in Dylan's style, he wore a lot of black and white and was also very clean cut. So for some reason, I think this realistic skateboard is clean cut-ish. Yeah, I just made that word up. Some history about Dylan. He began skating when he was nine years old and became a pro skateboarder when he was 18. That's insane. He was as authentic as they came and always stayed true to who he was. He was featured in the brand Supreme's video, Cherry, in 2014 where he won Trans World Skateboarding's award for best part in 2015. He was partnered with brands like Alien Workshop, Quicksilver, Huff, Birdhouse, Grab His Footwear, Osiris, and Fucking Awesome. As you can see right now, I was trying to position his name in a cool way, but I ended up not liking this and tried adding more of a signature, like what we can see in his Huff shoe. Oops, Gary Boos is high. I listen to his podcast sometimes while I work. <laughs> Dylan was passionate about skateboarding. You could see it in his videos and the way that he spoke about the culture in whole. Dylan unfortunately passed away in 2016 due to complications of leukemia. Everyone he was around said that he was just this incredible human on and off the board. Now at this point of the design, I was incorporating more background elements. These three marks represent the three letter initials of Huff, which was the brand where he had his own iconic shoe line. I say iconic because normally skater shoes are big and bulky, but his are super sleek and clean cut, reflecting again his, as I call it, suave personality. I used the pink colors from the artwork that Mark Oblo used in his artwork, and it added that extra touch. I think that really made it pop. I really wanted to capture the essence of Dylan's style in this piece and make sure I stayed true to his style as much as I could with what I knew. He, he was very aware of himself. Uh, he cared about you know his image very much so like he didn't associate himself with things that he didn't feel would um, impact his image in a positive way i then decided to handwrite the actual signature uh, to give it more of a personal touch and so in that kind of sense i really connected with that part of dylan i still felt that something was missing so I remembered in one of his videos, he had showed off a skateboard design by Andy Warhol that included a ripe banana. So I felt the yellow would add that final details to the design and I added some ripe bananas wrapping around the skateboard, kind of like that of a snake. It completely inspires me, um, you know, just to go after what it is that I love. Uh, and so I wanted to share this design um, because I, I truly respect the um, legacy that he's left behind um, and I think that anyone else could get some inspiration from him as well. And there it is. This is my design for Dylan Reader.